She just turned eight. But right after Pam Seeley delivered little Emma almost a decade ago, she got some very tough news. Basically, I had a premature baby, and one week later I found out I had breast cancer. Stage four breast cancer that had spread to her liver. Chemotherapy, radiation, and a mastectomy put Pam into remission. Years later, the cancer came back, this time in her brain, twice. To find out that it's in my brain and it's considered stage four again, um, and I have to have surgery on my brain. Like that was just, that was really scary. Pam was not an ideal candidate for the traditional open brain surgery she'd had before. But because of the location of it, surgery wasn't an option. The tumor was close to the area of the brain that controls peripheral vision. So instead of open surgery, Pam had what's called thermal laser ablation. During the procedure, the surgical team opens a small hole in the skull. Then using an MRI to guide them, they insert a catheter and move it to the tumor. Once there, they use high temperatures to kill the tumor and spare surrounding tissue. Mayo Clinic neurosurgeon Dr. Robert Warren says the procedure is beneficial for patients like Pam and others who are living with metastatic disease and are in the midst of chemotherapy or radiation. Those treatments usually have to be stopped for traditional surgery because you have a wound that needs to heal. But because of the minimally invasive nature of laser ablation, we're able to do a laser ablation technique in a manner that we don't have to necessarily stop someone's chemotherapy or radiation because it's such a very small wound that uh, wound healing isn't a problem. Thermal laser ablation, helping women like Pam live with cancer. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.